Marissa is my hairdresser. So we were gonna go do this photo shoot for her. And I knew she had asked Jen to do the photo shoot. So just an FYI, this is what you're gonna be doing. And she says to me, I don't wanna do this. So getting paid, right? But like, I was turned off that he wanted to make money on somebody that I would think you considered a friend. Somebody lying. Somebody is lying, bruh. You f***ing piece of mother Ooh. Like, I can't be friends with someone who likes to, like, sabotage their people. You're doing it to me right now! <laughs> you're dirty, you're dirty. No, that's not. calm down. I see you. You're a f***ing dirtbag. You're a f***ing dirtbag. Damn! What's up y'all, it's Brian Keith and I'm back with another video and today we're going to be talking about the Real Housewives of New Jersey and I have to say last episode and this episode were definitely the best episodes thus far of the season. The season has been good but after this episode is given very much Real Housewives of Potomac season 5. And everybody wants to be talking about, oh, this person's right, or this person's in the wrong, and this person should have did this. At the end of the day, for me, everybody's wrong. We're gonna talk about it. Y'all like, comment, subscribe. Let's get into the video. Yeah. Let me check my check my shit real quick. Hotter than the fire, come out my flame and lips. You wanna play with me? You can't play in me on the playground, bitch. You can't play with me. Got it. One is securing. The um, bag. like I said last episode, we gotta give um Miss Marge her props. I don't really rock with Marge. I really don't like her at all. But however, you know, she did gag Jackie, and Jackie was just like, "That's so me." Well, Jackie, you shouldn't been over here being a hater, right? Um, so we open up the episode and we see all the girls. You know, they meet up. And over here just kiki and having a good time and you see basically um in the beginning dolores um you see dolores jennifer aiden and Teresa all meet up right Any money? i was like bitch we showed up i know jen and i'm not buying the step and repeat is a big deal jen just doesn't like her. and then over here just talking about everything that has transpired so jennifer's basically talking about how you know well you know um, I got into it with Danielle, and Danielle, she, I just don't agree with the stuff that she has done, so that's why I just feel a way towards her. How can we move forward and be friends if I can't really trust her? And my whole thing is this. Let's say all the stuff she said about Danielle is true, right? So Danielle's a fucked up ass friend and a fucked up individual to do that to like her hairstylist and her whatever. Cool, that's fine. But the thing I think Jennifer Aiden re doesn't realize is that bitch ain't got shit to do with you. Mind your damn business. So you're over here mad about something that has nothing to do with you and you're over here talking about her step and repeat and I just feel like Jennifer Aiden is trying to find a problem and she's like, we came here to support you and you put us on, you should have put us on the step and repeat because we came to support you. And like she's saying, the only people that I you know, gave money to or gave money back to was the people that actually sponsored and gave something to the event. She started talking about the charity event I threw. You had a step and repeat. You couldn't think, let's put Aiden plastic surgery up there? Did you put out any money? They get on Jackie and Dolores is just like, look, Jackie called me a slob and I just think that's just the worst thing you can you can call me a cunt you can call me a bitch you can call me the devil but slob is just it turns the knife in your chest mind you I'm being facetious because I'm looking at Dolores like girl slob the fuck <laughs> I go, are you kidding me? So she writes, she tags everybody but me. She's a f***ing slob and I f***ing hate her. I can't defend that. Uh, right. And it's just like one of those things where I'm just like, it It does not. It, it Dolores, for me, I really feel, and I think Rodney said this in his um live the other day. Dolores is not needed for this show. For me, even she got her man over here telling her that she doesn't need to do no more surgery. That's the, the um, final straw. If you do surgery, I'm leaving and i was with dolores like who the fuck are you to tell me what the what i sh should do with my body baby i find it crazy that a grown-ass man who's not married to this woman that didn't birth this woman that don't control this woman is trying to tell this 50 plus year old woman how to do with her body she wants to change her body that's on her that has nothing to do with you and you have no control over what the fuck she do with her body and i hate shit like that when dude's like oh you shouldn't have did that with your body well bitch i don't think anybody asked you and you know they're in the gym over here trying to you know get their fitness right Polly, i guess he's losing a little bit of weight i really can't tell but no shade but like I said, Dolores is one of the baddest women walking on that show. 
hands down, full stop. So, you know, we see Danielle, she's over there talking to, she's at Andy, talking to her girl, Melissa. So Melissa's just like, girl, so what happened? I, I, if I'm gonna call it, at the end of all this, when Teresa's like, yeah, yeah, she's gonna be left on the floor like, Teresa, we're best friends. So she's just like, girl, Jennifer's over here coming at me about all this stuff and I just think it's crazy. Like she has the audacity to try to say that I should have put her on my flyer and how should I put her on my flyer, my step repeat, when she didn't do anything besides show herself. She didn't do anything conscionable for my event and she's just trying to make a bigger doll. Um, That's how she sound, right? My whole thing is with Danielle, I'm still try trying to figure out like, yes, Danielle, you know, she's upset, blah, 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 but it should have never got to this level. Cause I'm just like, why are we this upset, right? But you know, it is what it is, um, you know, whatever. But you know, Teresa let all the girls know, you know, she's like, look, I'm gonna be having a party at my house, Tulum thing, gonna be very much like, I want you guys just to wear sh a string bikini. I just wanna have just enough string to cover your nipples and just have like a little pasty on, you know, the hoo-hoo. And that's it. I'm just like, Teresa, girl, <laughs> the fuck? But you know, she just like, you know, she went to Tulum, like a spiritual retreat, had a good time. And she's just like, look, this is what I want you guys to do, blah, 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 blah. Cool. We then hop over and transport over and we see Margaret and Rachel go out. I'm, I'm warming up to Rachel. It, for me, I think the thing that I don't like about Rachel is who's attached to her. And that's her husband. If you could take that away from Rachel, I, I, I probably could fuck with Rachel. I talked about Polly and divorce. So she has no idea that this no. is what you're dealing with. I, you want the truth? She's but the husband just gives me the fucking ick. And at that point, I'm just like, throw them both away. I don't need to see none of it but she does have redeeming qualities like we see her talk about her kids and how her daughter has like um like I guess the gum the little gum part of her mouth they had to um like surgically like cut that so you know she could have a better speech and all these things so you know like she and she talked about her arthritis as well so like she has a great story however it overshadows when she constantly you know feel like she breathes Teresa right but you know they bring up jackie and mark is just like jackie's just all up teresa's ass she's just a fucking idiot i just don't get why she's over here just following after teresa and she's trying to go against me she's a fucking moron i don't give a fuck about what she got going on she's a fucking moron so she has no idea that this no. is what you're dealing with I, you want the truth she's a nasty she goes to divorce one of my closest friends and talks about me really oh my god and that was my point all this i'm just like okay girl i mean <laughs> don't get me wrong jackie do look like she fucking stupid as hell but i'm not mad at of, i'm not mad at the fact that jackie's going against the grain with the girls i just don't like the reason why because she's saying oh because me and Teresa are cool but why are y'all cool because like everybody's saying like girl she put you she made you relapse right quote unquote that's what you said now i'm just saying so you know we see Teresa over here at her house she's with louie and gia and they're over here just talking just like talk about the whole event and how you know Teresa's just like look margaret i want to take that bitch down i'm like damn <laughs> okay oh, please she's sadly mistaken so karma's a bitch and she was like you know at the end of the day jackie she's really becoming my friend but you know i'm in the way she was talking is like everything this is why jackie's gonna look dumb as fuck because Teresa even said she admitted that like bitch i'm using you karma is a bitch and it is what it is i'm using you to take down your own friend period full stop so now i'm looking at Teresa like everybody's online just like oh yeah Teresa's horrible oh my god and my whole thing is like the only person that's gonna look stupid is jackie because girl there's obviously a benefit for her to talk to you for her to open you with open arms getting all this information and you just willingly just going just giving her all the information right and Teresa's just like yeah you know i just want to keep egging her on so she can keep revealing stuff about margaret because i want to take that bitch down da, 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 da. and then you got gia over here co-signing talking about yeah you really need to talk to her and let her know like all the stuff that margaret has done that's been so hard and vowed to us you know, margaret you know she's really evil yeah i mean i think jackie's starting to see what margaret is doing with margaret and what she's actually done to our family i'm just like well girl what the fuck did she do to you girl if you don't shut the fuck up the fuck well, i'm just like girl yeah, what, 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 I get, you know, Gia, she's getting older, she has more of an opinion, this, that, and the third, but girl, like, 
I don't see what she has done, what Margaret has done to you. And mind you, I'm not a Margaret fan. Like, the fuck? But I'm just like, what has she done to you for you to be like, yeah, you know, Margaret, she's just doing all these things. You need to get with Jackie and let her know what she has done to us. I get that she gonna stand behind her mama like, I get it. But it's just like, girl, you stand behind your mama when your mama over here looking crazy as hell. At the end of the day, Teresa's looking fake as fuck with Jackie. And I do th think that's gonna backfire on her. Tinfo. The bulk of this whole situation is the night of the party and all the everybody's over here looking cute. Everybody's coming in, having a good time. You know, Jennifer Aiden, she was over here pre-talking to Bill, like, like, you know, I'm really nervous because all the stuff where um that has happened between me and Danielle. And Danielle talked to her husband. It's just like, you know, they're trying to fill the situation out because they don't know what's gonna happen, right? So we see the main thing that happened. So Dolores and Jackie. Alright, I'm not I mean I'm not gonna Ready to buy that right now? Yeah. Well, um, I mean, um, can I just tell you something? Not about what was said. I did something. Sh Jackie goes up to Dolores, and all she asks the girls like, "Should I go talk to Dolores?" I don't know. And they're like, "Well, you know, mm, yeah, you could probably go talk to Dolores. Everything should be, you know, copacetic." Ah. So she's like, "Hey, Dolores, girl, you know, I understand that you probably don't really want to talk to me right now." Dolores like, "I don't." <laughs> she's like, "Well, you know, I just want to let you know that you know all the stuff that Margaret has done is just so horrible," and I'm just looking at Jackie, just like. Girl, fuck what Margaret has done because we are hearing what Margaret has done, right? Dolores has seen what the fuck you said about her. But the real bad guy in this situation is Margaret. She's said terrible things about everybody. She's okay. <laughs> So just like at that point now, do I think that Dolores is doing too much? Yeah, I'm like, girl, like, just say you don't fuck with her, you never did, and it was what it was, right? Because I could have sworn like two seasons ago, you got her face ready to over here, go blow the blows, but to each his own. So she's just like, yeah, you know, I just don't want to have a friendship with you. I just think we need to be on pause. It is what it is. What you said about me is just so vile. I, I, I'm just like, girl, she called you a slob. Like... But I guess, like, Dolores is a grown ass woman, it is what it is. So Danielle, Jennifer Aiden, and they have a conversation. She's just like, why are you saying this stuff about me? And Jennifer Aiden's just like, look, you know, there's a lot of stuff that I've heard about you and a lot of stuff you have done that I just don't agree with. And, you know, I just don't think it's right. Like, why would you say those things to me? I was very shocked to hear that, you know, you threw somebody out. And I just don't like the, the who is she talk. And like, I mean, Violet, if that's how she feel, that's how she feel, right? So Danielle's basically just telling her like, look, like, I mean, you're over here saying all these things about me, but I just don't think that it is necessarily correct. Goes on to this whole step and repeat. Oh, you know, I came to your event, but you didn't over here shout me out or put me on a flyer. You were donating everything. Back for what? For whatever it cost you. She thinks whatever we made from the event, I was like, Nate, let's take this and put it in our pocket. And she said, I only put people on the flyer that, you know, actually supported and, you know, financially supported and, you know, I paid them back. And she was like, okay, you know, you said you paid them back. Let's, let's get on that. I'm like, where are we going with this? So she was like, you said that you paid all the money for charity, but you paid yourself as well. And she was like, what are you talking about? I did not pay myself. She was like, yeah, you paid yourself and you use that money to, you know, pocket the money. She was like, no, I use that money to pay the vendors and pay the people that supported, you know, financially for you know the event so i just pay them back and then my whole thing with jennifer agents like no no you didn't no you didn't because i know how it is when you do a charity no you didn't and my whole thing is this like girl you say no she didn't but girl how the fuck you know <laughs> like were you over here like behind her like over here breathing down her neck um looking at her books like i'm just confused on how like it's like when somebody tried to tell me something like bitch you can't tell me anything about myself like i already know cool so Jennifer's just like, look, when I do charities, um, I do, and she got cut off because Danielle's like, look, you're a multi-millionaire. And she's like, I'm not a multi-millionaire. I am not a multi-millionaire. And I'm just looking like Jennifer, like, girl, please. House in Paramus, a shore house, a slew of cars, including a f***ing Ferrari, and Bill's not bringing in a million dollars. Stop it. Your husband is a doctor. You're on this show. If you don't want to say your multi millionaire, cool. But like Danielle, I repeat it, girl, you got 16 bedrooms, 45 bathrooms, a golf course, the spaceship, over here, half the moon in your back backyard. Like, girl, really, what are we doing? Like, come on now. Like, so 
the bulk of the situation <laughs> happened when they talk about this whole her hairstylist being a model for the hairstylist not getting paid. Ah, ah, ah. So Danielle was basically saying that she wanted to get paid, and that's where this whole vocal thing come from. So Danielle feels like disrespected. That like, girl, what are you even talking about? Like, you're trying to gag me about something that's really not even gag worthy. I would think you considered a friend. You in piece of mother. So basically she was just letting letting like her know that you know the phone call wasn't about getting paid the phone call was just like filling you in on the details of what's going to happen with my hairstylist. Now the hairstylist did come out online co-signing some shit against Danielle but girl like at the end of the day you dogged your girl you dogged your girl. So that's when Danielle was like you're dirty you're dirty you're dirty I, everybody was right about you bitch everybody was right about you. But you know what you're getting yourself into you okay. whole Photos. Right. Just want you to know that's a behavior trait I would never do to my hair girl. You're doing it to me right now. So in the confessional, Jennifer's just like at the end of the day, you know, I'm getting to know you, and I'm over here trying to figure you out, and I just can't be friends with somebody like you. Like I just don't like the way you move and all da 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 da. And I'm just looking like, girl, where the fuck did this come from? Like this whole switch up for me with Jennifer Aiden is just so weird. It's just weird. The whole thing is weird. Period. So they over here in each other's face and just doing all of this and Danielle doing all this, you know, and then, you know, Danielle gets in her face, Danielle gets in her face and she's just like, yeah, you know, you're dirty. Everything that they said about you is da, 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 all of this. So I guess Jennifer Aiden had enough and everybody's just like, oh, she just pushed her. That, that wasn't a push, bitch. That was a shove. She tried to push the soul out of her body. Just <clears throat> All of that, right? That wasn't a push. That was a that that was a shove, baby. She pushed the shit out of her. Now, I wasn't expecting. Here we go. Here the fuck we go. Because Danielle, you did go online, and somebody said that girl, you hit her with a vase. What? Hit her with a picture, and you was just like, oh, that's what the rumor is. I, 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 I. girl, you hit her with a picture. <laughs> girl, I'm like, what the fuck? Like, girl smashed a glass against her face. Danielle knocked the shit, knocked the whole shit out of Jennifer. You don't know that's enough. I see you. You're a dirtbag. You're a dirtbag. And Jennifer just. <laughs> girl, I know she was. T I, I would have been. I was like, can I get a Tylenol, a Motrin? I am dizzy. <laughs> Bitch knocked the sh knocked the absolute shit out of Jennifer. I said, God damn. That's how you knew Danielle was Danielle not one of them. So all the girls in the back row, oh, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Like I'm just looking like y'all really acting like so surprised. Like, didn't Danielle snobs damn near ripped Margaret's her shoulders? Then you had you know, Margaret th pouring drinks on people. And you had Jennifer Aiden smashing glasses on the table about three or four times to Melissa. I mean, this is what the girls do, you know? Now, I don't want people to think I condone violence. I do not condone violence. And I say this because online, a lot of people are saying, this is the most violent thing I've ever seen on TV. It's not. And I feel like a lot of people are trying to gas this situation up. Now, do I feel like it was unfortunate that this happened? Yes. Do I also feel like people need to keep their motherfucking hands to themselves? Yes. But do I feel like Danielle escalated even further? Yes. If Jennifer would have kept her hands to herself, I don't think this situation would have happened. But I don't think a push warrants a plastic or glass to the neck. I just don't. So we already know that this incident got Danielle and them Suspended both of them, baby. Why well, tell you, Danielle was Danielle was off that energy. And she went to Bill. She said, "Yo, why this a motherfucking bitch? You when you lay down at night, you motherfucking sleep with the motherfucking devil, bitch." So you know, at the end of the episode, we see Danielle and her husband in the car, and he basically let her know, like, why in the fuck are you letting someone else get you out your character? And I say this at work every single day to like my fellow, you know. Um, counterparts I'm just letting them know like don't let nobody get you out of character because the moment they get you out of character and they know how to pull your card they're gonna always see it for you and pull that card every time so that's why I'm looking at Danielle like girl 
why in the fuck? Especially after a little push. Now, don't get me wrong. Everybody's just like, oh, she just pushed her. It didn't call for none of that. At the end of the day, you need to keep your motherfucking hands to yourself. Period. Full stop. But I feel like there was wrong on both sides. Danielle, you should have not got, you should have never gotten to that girl's face. Period. And you should never hit her with that motherfucking glass, girl. <laughs> Set. Bah! Set. God damn. It's not funny. It's not. It's not funny. Whoa, I said, in the quickness, I said, girl, she need to be on baddies. No, like, girl, you should have kept your hands to yourself. Like, what are you doing? Like, on both sides, both of them are wrong, period. And that's where I come at it. But y'all, let me know what you guys think, because I see online, it's back and forth. Everybody's like, this person's wrong, this person's wrong. Both of them wrong, period. But y'all, like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Brian Keith, LG, Black Pete Bet you didn't know we the Holy Trinity Now let the God stop a dollar break your head here Step into the room and get up in the bed It's too sweet, that's cause I'm good It tastes sour cause I'm better than the hood Uh, cause I get you hyped But when I'm running all around cause I excite ya Let me talk, let me talk real quick You can't even get, get with the shit You wanna go toe to toe with my flow? This cyber candy all I really have to fall Uh, 